All right, at least I have white right. this time. Let's All go. right, go do it. Ah, <laughs> already getting intimidated. All right, this jacket is slowing me down. That's that's my excuse for the yeah. first game. Oh, the jacket, the jacket, the jacket's okay. coming off. All right. Oh, yeah, the 500 is not enough. That's the problem. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh. I need, I need, I need, I need 800. Oh, 800, 900. Yeah. yeah. on the back just getting ready getting ready for something oh no <laughs> all right is this uh what is this this is chess and where are where are we uh, that, that place that's vague place <laughs> that's very vague I'm confusing myself. Just maneuver the knights. You know, I know. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm just making sure I'm not, I'm not too confused. All right, got, got some dark squares. He's surviving. Got some dark squares. This is going better than the first one. That is for sure. It was hard to do worse. I know. I know it wasn't that bad. It was. It was bad, but I've. I've. Uh, I've definitely played worse. I played worse today. I think. I can't talk about it. <laughs> you can talk about it. You, you can talk about it. Oh yeah, I can talk about it. Yeah, that's allowed. That was very, this is a move. That was a very classy on this on. It was just like, it was done quickly, yet it was just very dramatic. It was very dramatic. All right. Uh, well, it's getting, it's getting all the way there. Oh, you can't, you're not allowed to plan both sides of the board. What is this? Don't let him do it. What about show? I think this position could even be better, but I'm still going to lose. What? Well, at least you're confident. I think that was the opposite of confident. Was what, what I what I just described. I was like, I think I'm doing fine, but I'm going to lose. That's that's a that's a lack of confidence right there. Uh, yeah. What do you got? Uh, you know, oh, let's go for it. All right. You know what? The people the people are going to want me to take on F7. Whatever. But I don't know if I want to. <laughs> you have to be a man to do that. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a wuss. Okay, yeah. That doesn't mean I'm not a man, though. I'm just a man oh. who's a wuss. Oh, yeah.
Take it back. All right, good game. That was a good game. Yeah, you played well. You played well. Good game. Thank you. Gosh, what a game! Hey guys, Brian here, and yes, that was the fork heard round the world, man. I heard you guys screaming from here. That was wow. I mean, Hikaru has such a great poker face because he's a pretty much a chess engine, right? So he knew what the eval bar was the entire game, and he knew he was down, but he just kept his calm. And man, it looked like a great outpost for the night for Max, but I always say, like, if you have two important pieces on the same color squares, then and a knight within a vicinity, you have a chance of getting forked. So try to get them on opposite color uh, squares. But easier said than done. But wow, what a <laughs> man! That was a sick ending by Hikaru. And let's give it up for our boy Max, man! What a great game he played, man! He he was undeterred by by. I mean, this looks scary. A super GM coming at you, pawn storming, but he handled it so well and. I this move just highlights how good he is. 99% of chess players, what do they do? Just take, right? But what does he do? He plays this intermediate move, boom, gets that extra pawn and take, take, and just the billion dollar question is going to be how does he convert this game? So in the game Knight F6 was played, let's go move back. You're playing against a car, you have 30 seconds left, you know you're winning. How do you convert this? I'll give you 10 seconds because that's pretty much how much time you'll have to burn, right? In a real life situation. So here we go. Go. All right. What is the plan? What is the best move for white? It's not necessarily the best move. It's like what is the overall thing that you have to balance, right? all according to you know in a time crunch so first off you got to avoid the fork right so uh queen g4 hitting the knight but now you got to watch out for these sneaky checks king check or rook check king e3 and now what you want to do is you want to tra start trading off pieces right because your head is white so um but, oh yeah but first off it's black's move so black will move back and defend now you have a knight f4 getting up here Rook check, king up, rook a1, getting ready to check again. Um, now you can play e6, hitting the rook. And here's the thing. I mean, if the rook goes like out, then just knight takes, knight takes, and you're just going to renew the threat, two on one. So first off, you check and king back. And then if you do this, then let me just show you visually what's going to happen. Like I said before, so going back here, rook takes and take and this could be one continuation boom and I mean even look this knight is pinned so you can even start pushing here and white will be winning so that's this is the reason why it's so hard to convert games you have to balance so many factors right you have to look out for the threats which was the fork you have to attack keep the attack up you have to be wary of the checks you have to keep your king safe and you're looking to trade off your pieces and advance these pawns so all of that you have to balance against playing a super grandmaster with only 30 seconds left yeah very very easy right guys so <laughs> i mean but wow i mean max played a hell of a game hell of a game up i think the eval bar had him his highest point was i believe 7.1 so that's pretty crazy wow so very very well done the most dangerous moment comes before victory right this is it his highest eval and boom it looked like such a juicy outpost but Man, that is the fork heard round the world. Beautifully done, Hikaru, for keeping that poker face and just calmly forking it to, to finish it. Beautiful. Wow, that is, a, that is so cool to see. And great fight by Dr. Max Attack. Now you know why we gave him that nickname. Beautifully done, man. Great game by both. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought of the game in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to the bonification. Thanks. I'll see you guys tomorrow.